deadliest, most powerful thing in the universe. A quasar. A swirling cauldron of superheated gas. This beast has a heart of darkness. A supermassive black hole as heavy as a billion suns. It's ripping apart whole stars, devouring them until they're nothing, lost forever from the visible universe. We think, we hope, we pray we've seen the worst the universe can throw at us. But no one can know what lies ahead. We'll need to go further, go faster. Eight billion light years from home, more galaxies. But these look different, ragged, small, close together. We're so far back in time, we're seeing these galaxies as they were before the Earth was born. They're still young, still growing. We're getting close to where and how it all began. Look at the galaxies now. They're more like primitive plankton floating in a vast dark ocean. Clouds of dust and gas dancing, twirling, merging to make embryonic galaxies. back before the stars were born into a cosmic dark age and before that light the afterglow from the massive explosion that created the known universe This is it. We've made it. The edge of the universe. 80 billion trillion miles from home. 13 and a half billion years ago. The very instant of the Big Bang, the most violent, most creative moment in history, Everything that's ever happened follows from this moment. Every religion, every culture has pondered it. 
But we still don't know what sparked this act of creation, or why. This is where our journey ends, and the universe begins. An infinitely hot, small, dense point erupts. Creating space, time, matter, our universe itself. First, it's the size of a subatomic particle. The tiniest fraction of a second later, it's big enough to hold in the palm of your hand. Moments later, it's the size of the Earth. Today, the light from the Big Bang is still spreading out. You can hear it as a radio hiss. See it as television static. All the wonders we've seen on our journey are sparks flying out from the Big Bang. Galaxies, stars, planets, all cosmic debris. We go forward through time, riding the blast wave. Until we reach another cooling cinder swirling in the afterglow of the Big Bang. We're back where we started, home. Only now can we really know it. Smaller, more fragile than we ever imagined. Destined to die, swallowed by a dying sun. But we shouldn't despair. We should rejoice. We've managed to experience the wonders of the universe. We should celebrate our achievements and enjoy our moment in the sun.